Okay, today we're going to learn how to install Pyrite on NetHunter on a Nexus 6P. To make our life easier, we're going to start by rooting into my uh, Nexus 6P. So, SSH, root at the IP address of your Nexus 6P, enter the password, and we're in. As you can see, I put in Wi-Fi to see it come up. Now, Wi-Fi in this particular example is going to show that it is missing a application to run properly, and that application is Pirate. Right, we want to CD into downloads, so we're going to CD downloads. Once we're in here, we see the folder is empty. We're going to make a directory just for pirate to store all the files that we download and unzip. So we'll CD into pirate. Once we're in there, we're going to go ahead and download the application with the wget command. Once the application is downloaded, we're going to see that the zip file is in our folder using ls. So next, we're going to go ahead and unzip that file. And we're going to go ahead and unzip that file just by typing unzip and the name of the file. So click enter. Everything's unzipped. We'll ls to see what's in there. You see it's all been properly unzipped. And next, next we're going to go ahead and clear. And we're going to start to download and install the first application that we need to install. So we're going to do sudo pip install pscock2. Now we see pip downloading it and trying to install it, and we see that we run into a bunch of errors in our particular case, and we see that we have failed with exit code one. We also look for other errors here, and we're gonna notice most likely that some prerequisite applications that we need have not been installed. So we're gonna go ahead and try to figure this out. So one of the first things we're going to check is which version of Python we have installed in our phone. So we're going to do app list python 3-dev, see if that's installed. And we see that it's installed and upgradable. All right, so we know Python 3 dev is installed. Normally Python dev is a mandatory prerequisite. Next we're going to check Another prerequisite, which is libssl dev, and we see that it's installed because it says upgradable. And we're going to check one more prerequisite app list zlib devel. Okay, that was not. We got search for all the ones that are like this, we're going to check dev first, still nothing coming up, we're going to search for this, and we do see that a, a zlib lg dev is installed, so normally all the prerequisites have been installed.
just to move forward we're going to see if we can install scapey also using pip because it's another requirement for pyrite to get up so we do sudo pip install scapey and in this particular case we see that scapey has already been installed now i'm going to go ahead and clear and I'm going to try to build the application anyway with the current Python I have. And you're going to see that it's going to tell me why I'm not able to do this. So I first I type Python setup py clean, tells me Python is not recognized. So we do Python 3 setup py clean. Now, when I run this, I already start to get hints of why it's not working. It's missing parentheses, which is normally a sign that this code is not written in Python 3, but it is written in Python 2. We continue the process anyway. We're going to try to do Python setup build. Of course, I forgot to put in the 3 in there, so we'll type this again. Python 3 setup.py build. There we go, and we should get errors. Again, the same exact type of error, missing parentheses in call to print. So again, this is an indicator that we are using the wrong Python. Right, so it's now that we know we have the wrong Python version, we're gonna go ahead and see which Python versions are available here in the Kali Linux repository on NetHunter. First, we see all the ones that are installed, and we see that only Python 3 is installed. So we have Python 3 and Python 3.9 installed. So now we're going to do app list Python and see all the ones that are available. We put the wildcard, we see Python 3 is available. Scroll all the way up. And it seems like Kali Linux primarily uses Python 3. So now what we're going to do is make our search a little bit more specific. We're going to do app list Python 2 with wildcard. First, we're looking for just Python. We see there's a whole bunch of Python's available. So now we're going to look specifically for Python 2. So we do app list Python 2 wildcard. We see that there's Python 2 and Python 2.7. So at this point, we're going to try to install Python 2 and Python 2 dev. So we do app install. Python 2. So we get that installed. Click yes. Sped up the process a little bit, just to be faster. We see that Python 2 has been installed. All right, Python 2 is installed. Fantastic. We also see that we have Python 2 dev, which is necessary. So we're going to do app install Python 2 dev. The dev part is always important for the build process. So there we go. We're going to hit yes. Okay, so Python 2 dev is installed. So we're going to go ahead and try to install the first application that's mandatory for Pyra to work. So we do pip install py psycopg2 again. And you're going to see in this particular case that we're going to run into an error again. 
but we're gonna attempt to continue anyway. So we do Python setup py clean. Now we know the mistake because we need to ask for Python 2 specifically. So Python 2 setup py clean. Oh, and running nice and clean, so that's a good advantage. Python 2 setup build. And we see that we still got two errors. But this is a lot better. And we're going to go ahead and try to move forward. But you're going to see hints in this code already where it's mentioning 2.7 in a lot of places. So we're going to try the next step. So we're going to go ahead and type in uh, Python 2 setup py install. And the install did go through. However, we're going to see that there's still errors. We're going to cd out of this. We see pirate. We're going to type in pirate to see if it works but the command is not found. This is something that we'll have to do later on, but at the moment we also know there was a whole bunch of errors because of Python. So we need to go ahead and fix that. So we're gonna clear the skin. We're gonna go back into downloads, go back into our pirate folder. And now we're gonna go ahead and install Python 2.7 specifically. Uh, in this particular case, I use the app get install command. So app get install Python 2.7. All right, so IPy 2.7 is installed, but now we also need to install the def. Ah. In this particular case, I also added the build essentials so app install build essentials app install python 2.7 dash dev we also want to install lib pcap dev and lib sl So now that we have Python 2.7 and all the other prerequisite applications installed, we're going to try this again. So pip install psycopg2. And in this particular case, we're going to see that it's going to be successful. Oh, more or less. But we're going to move on. With the build process. We're going to move on with the build process. So we do type in Python 2.7, set up py, clean. And we see that it's running clean, removing what was there before. Next, we're going to do Python, if I can spell Python correctly. All right, so misspelled Python there, one second. Python 2.7 setup, 2.7 setup py build. And in this particular case, you see that it's nice, clean build. So no errors at all here. So big uh, improvement. And now we're going to do Python 2.7. Uh, misspelled Python, so we're going to see an error here. All right, let's try this again. And misspelled Python again. And third time's a charm. Python 2.7, setup py, install.
and a nice clean install. Now we're going to try to run the pirate command, but from a level higher. So I'll see the double dots. And we're going to go ahead and type in pirate, but we're going to see that it's not coming up. And what we should have expected is for pirate program to come up. So now we're going to do a little debugging. First, we're going to run the Wi-Fi program just to see if it magically works. As we see, it comes up and it still says pirate was not found. And that should make sense because when we type in pirate, it doesn't come up. So now we're going to try to go to the location where pirate is installed. So we're going to go into CD user local bin. Oh, went a little one level too high. This there we go. Click enter ls and we see pirate has been installed in there, but we also see it's the only program that's installed in user local bin. So if pirate is not coming up, it's because our path is not properly set. So we're trying now trying to find different ways of calling the program up. So we can do the full path to the program, user, local, bin, and pirate. And normally you will see once we do that, the program does come up. So the program is properly installed and it is working. The problem is that I need to put its full name and location for the program to come up. That's why Wi-Fi is still not finding it. Thus, we come back here. We see where Wi-Fi is installed. By typing which Wi-Fi, we see it's installed in user as bin Wi-Fi. We see where Pirate is installed. And we also type in echo path to see all the path files. Now we see that the local bin's not in there, so we're going to add export path dollar sign path user local bin we do echo path again and now we see that user local bin has been added to our path so now if we type in pirate it comes up so now when we type in wife it you'll see that it comes up and it is no longer asking for pirate because now Wi-Fit has found the pirate application and Wi-Fit has all the dependencies that it needs. Hope that helped. Oh, yeah. Summary, you need Python 2.7 and the zip file from GitHub to properly install pirate. Have a nice day.